show himself. Amen. What's he doing? And there'll always be Michelle's despising you. And there'll always be people looking down their nose at you saying, he's acting a fool. But let me just tell you something, Satan. Let me just tell you something, Satan. I'm going to be more vile than this. Sing some song. Praise the Lord. It's here for you untalented people. I'm the president of the Untalented Club. If you want to praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Play it, Daddy. Cried home unto the Lord. Cried home unto the Lord. Oh, if I could surely work and on that Lord. Address yourself. Take yourself away from yourself. Sing another verse of that, Paul. You know why the angels desire to look into it? He didn't take on the nature of the angels. He didn't die for the angels. He didn't die for the four beasts. Had the face of a lion, the face of an eagle, the face of a man, and the face of a... Why do they desire to look into these things? Amen. Because there's something that the bride has got that they don't have. There's something that we have that they don't have. Amen. I'm so thankful for the fire. Hallelujah. Let's sing another verse. Then we'll let the preacher come on and preach. Crying home.
Somebody testify for the Lord. Yeah, the Lord. Say something. John, testify. Amen. It's good to be saved. It's good to be in the house of the Lord. Just thank God for salvation, for salvation is of the Lord. Amen. And three years ago, I was under conviction bad. It was nothing but a drug addict, a, a drunk, doing all kinds of things to the world. That day, that Sunday morning, at an old-fashioned altar. Yeah, boy. Praise God, the Lord come into my heart. I always believed on the Lord Jesus Christ. I always believed that he died on the cross. But when that man of God began to preach that word, that Holy Ghost came down, convicted me that I was lost. Come on. I'm gone without God. Dead in trespasses and sin. Yeah. The Bible said that he that cometh forth with a broken heart and a contrite spirit, he said in no wise will I cast out. Yeah, I Lord. went down believing the report and the Holy Ghost come into my heart. The Bible said by the love of God is the Holy Ghost shed abroad upon me. Amen. And praise God. And I confessed him as my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I ask that you forgive me of all my sin. Praise the Lord. Make me a new, a new creature in Christ Jesus. The Bible says if any man be in Christ. Christ Jesus, he is a new creature. All things have passed away, and behold, all things have become new. Come on. And he raised me up to walk in a new Amen. life. Amen. Amen, preacher. Praise God. I just thank God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank, thank you, Jesus. Thank God that he called me into the ministry three years after I got saved to go out and spread the good news from a far country. Amen. You know, Amen. Man, bless his what name. Is that good news? That's Jesus Christ and Him crucified. Yeah. The salvation plan of God, the birth, the death, burial, and the resurrection yeah. of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Somebody else got something to say for the Lord before she sings. I want to thank the Lord for touching myself. Thank you, Jesus. Thank God for the Holy Ghost. Amen, preacher. Yeah. If, if I had, I don't know why the church is this way, but you got it. You got to have God. Shake you like an earthquake to move. Come on. If I had to wait on that to praise the Lord, I'd, I'd very seldom praise God. Yeah. Right. But I praise Him because of that marvelous life. Yes. I don't. You say, you say, what makes your feet move like that? Me. Sure. Yeah. What makes you shout? Me. Amen. I got to do all of it. Blessing, Lord. He ain't never done it for me. Blessing, Lord. So never he real. did save me. He did that for me. But every time I run, it's me. Yeah. Every time I clap, it's me. You love him. I'm glad that he gave me something to work. I, I don't I can praise him anytime I want to. Yeah. yeah. I ain't gotta have your approval. <laughs> I ain't gotta have nobody pack Come on. back. Yeah. I ain't gotta explain it to you. Right. I can just praise him because I know what you don't know what he did for me. Bless you, Brandon. Come I on, do. Brandon. I just I felt like saying that. That's all right. Anytime I do those things, I just want you to know if you think that he's just in the self, I am. Yeah. It's just all me. I know exactly where I came from. Amen. I'm glad I can do it anytime I want to. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Liberty. Liberty. Hallelujah. Somebody else wants to say something for Jesus. Brother Jason, I want to thank the Lord. I want yeah, to thank bless the Lord. My uh, touching uh, James Wang. When y'all sent somebody sent the picture out this week, uh, I went and got my Bible and I came out to the Lord. That word said, Faith being the subject of faith, hope for the evidence of faith I've seen. Yeah. And then if you read that whole chapter and it talks about the elders, yeah, the witnesses and, and, uh, of the elders and all the things that they went to. Yeah. Everything. That Come on. Then without us couldn't be made perfect. Right. But the very next chapter, it talks about wherefore we are compassed. Yes. Sir. It's great account of witnesses. Yeah. And I saw that people yeah. would just look. This is the same things that took place back there. Amen. That's right. I looked at yeah. it. I cried. I said, God, <laughs> I did too. I said, that's you, God. <laughs> right. Right. Hallelujah. I went to text that back. I said, no, I just, I just want to tell the people at church. If you want to see them, that's a pile of witnesses. All you got to do is just open your eyes. Amen. Open your eyes. My daughter tells me, she says she goes to, to, to heaven every night. And, and, she said, I see you up there. And she said, have you been? I said, no. She said, well, I see you up there. I said, well, I don't see nothing. She said, you got to open your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> and that's all you got to do to see it's these Jesus. clouds and witnesses. Yeah, yeah. right. Just open your eyes. Amen. God's is rich today. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. 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 Now, this is the Lord's people. This is God's service. This ain't ours. We want everybody to feel your liberty today. Right. Sing, Hannah. Sing, baby. Right. I believe his, his song blessed me the other night. I believe yeah, it blessed me you. too. Blessed you, Jesus. When you saw you needed strength, they seen a trial. When you felt you needed a hand, you stood.
Christ endureth forever. How can you hear without a preacher? How can he preach except he be sent? For it is written, how beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel. That good news he's talking about, them glad tidings. I appreciate Brother Donald. It's been a while since he's been here. Let's get behind him. And I guarantee you the Lord will give him something to give to us today. So you be much in prayer. Come on, preacher. Bless the Lord. All right, I'm not used to preaching on the microphone, so y'all have to preach. All right, I'll do it. All right. Bless the Lord. But I appreciate the Lord today. And I'm going to read out of Romans chapter 10. Bless the Lord. Let's start with verse 1 here. Jesus. And I appreciate my friends, everybody. Yeah. Bless here. God of all. It's good to have friends everywhere, and I yeah. and I certainly appreciate you today. So, yeah. um, we'll just read here and just um, give you what the Lord has given us, and hopefully, Bless the Lord. hopefully today it'd be a blessing to you. Yeah. Romans chapter ten. And verse 1 says, Brethren, my heart's desire and prayer to God for Israel is that they might be saved. For I bear them record that they have a zeal of God, but not according to knowledge. For they, being ignorant of God's righteousness and going about to establish their own righteousness, have not submitted themselves unto the righteousness of God. For Christ is the end of the law of righteousness to everyone that believeth. For Moses describeth the righteousness which is of the law, that the man which doeth those things shall live by them. Yeah. But the righteousness which is of faith speaketh on this wise, say, not in thine heart, Heart, who shall ascend into heaven, yeah. that is to bring Christ down from above, right. or who shall descend into the deep, and that is to bring up Christ from the dead. But what saith this, the word is nigh thee even in thy mouth, yeah. and in thy heart, that it is the word of faith which we preach, right. that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart, that God raised Bless him from the dead, the thou shalt be saved. Right. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, yes. and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. For the scripture saith, Whosoever believeth on him shall not be ashamed. For there is no difference between the Jew and the Greek. For the same Lord over all is rich unto all that call upon him. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord I shall be saved and how then shall they call upon them whom they have not believed and how shall they believe on him who they have not heard and how shall they hear without a preacher as Jason had mentioned and how shall they preach except they be sent and it is written how beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace and bring glad tidings of good things uh, but they have not obeyed the gospel for Isaiah saith Lord who hath believed our Report. So right. then faith cometh by hearing, right. and hearing by the word of God. Right. But I say, have they not heard? Uh, yes. Merely, uh, their sound went unto all the earth, and their words unto the end of the world. Yeah. But I say, did not Israel know? Uh, first Moses saith, I will provoke you to jealousy uh, by them that are no people uh -huh. and by a foolish nation I will anger you. Yeah. But Isaiah in a, is very bold and saith, I was found of them that sought me not. I was made manifest unto them that asked not after me. Yeah. Uh, but to Israel he saith, all day long I have stretched forth my hands unto a disobedient and gainsaying people. So today that's on, uh, correctly reading the 21 verses of uh, the Romans chapter 10 in the Word of God today. And I've been all over the, the Bible this morning, got up and tried to read and study, been, uh, not being really
really in the Word this week. I've been busy just going here and there and um, with the revival and all that and work. But um, uh, today I, I was thinking about uh, what was I going to preach when I come over here today. And, and I, think, I think a lot of Jason's preaching and, and his ability as an evangelist and a minister and about reaching lost people. And I think to myself, well, what, how am I going to preach to them people and make a difference? Or how, how would I do anything? Uh, there that uh, that he couldn't do certainly I couldn't today uh, but I wanted to think about as I thought about in my heart and all that and I sit there and it's like preaching's kind of like uh, them old short ordered cooks like in them little restaurants and they got them things when they put the orders up on it and they spin it around out there and God you'll study and you'll, you'll study the word and all that and it'll get in your heart and you'll say well that's it that's what I'm going to preach about uh, but then you go somewhere and it don't it ain't, ain't that and God just turns uh, that little thing that got the menus on or the orders and he turns it around there uh, but you remember don't you uh, what he gave you and when it rolls back around to that time uh, then God says well preach that now uh, so I'm glad that God is able today uh, to help us I'm glad he's able today to give us uh, what we need so let me just uh, talk to you a little bit uh, if I have a text today, the Lord. I want to uh, title my text. I uh, take the text of uh, benign faith, yes, uh, harmless faith, right, ineffective faith. I want to talk about faith uh, today that does you no good. Uh, Lord. faith that just don't work, and I ain't oh, gonna. Right. I hopefully ain't gonna get in a, a great deal about healing and all that. Uh, but I want to talk about just faith that's benign. It does nothing. It don't do nothing. It don't help nobody. Uh, number one, it don't help you. Uh, number two, it don't help anybody else. And uh, number three, it don't help God. I'm talking about faith that don't work. And I've heard a lot of folks preach. And I've heard a lot of different doctrines uh, since I've been saved and since I've been going to church. And I've heard about... Uh, a common doctrine prevalent everywhere now is the once in grace doctrine, eternal Come on. security. Come on. I word that, and I come to preach against that today. Uh, but they preach that uh, once you're saved, you're always saved. Come and on. if you didn't now get, uh, if, if you go on out there in the world and you come and pray and know Jesus, Jesus Christ and you go a little while and you try to stay with Him and all that, and then, then what happens is uh, that sin separates you from God. Yes, right. uh, sin gets yes. between them people that's been right. born again. Right. And they can't go. It ain't them. It ain't, it ain't something that God didn't do for them. Uh, right. But sin gets in their life. Right. And they get to taste in their old world. And they get to taste in their old life. Yeah. I pray they get to taste yeah. the, uh, the things that they once knew. Yeah, yeah. And they let that flesh grow. Yeah. They let that flesh that was dead. Yeah. They let that flesh that they had control and command and dominion over. Right. They let it sprout back up. Yes, sir. Yeah, that's right. Yes. The roots of that starts coming up. Yeah. And they see sprouts and shoots. Come on. And they don't come and cut them off. Right. They don't take the word of God right. and come and come it off. And before they know it, it's like them rose bushes. Yeah. It's got them bound again. Yeah. Got them wrapped up and they can't get out of it. Yeah. 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 Lord. So don't preach me a doctrine that ain't real. Right. Yeah. Don't tell me the grace of God ain't sufficient in that manner. Right. But you preach to me that Jesus Christ uh, died to save sinners. Right. And the right. blood that he said on Calvary right. is precious today. Oh, yeah. Amen. And he knows where it's at. Yeah. And it's still got the same power. But now let me talk about faith that ain't going to work. And let me talk about benign faith today. And there's a, I've, I've heard a lot of times, and I'm not, I'm not here to preach stories please I just you think about what I read and think about our faith and how that we believe how that that belief brings us to God yes how that belief saves us how that belief today is so powerful in our life if I didn't believe God I wouldn't be here today
And that's my faith. Yeah, that's, and that's, that's how you look at it. That's how you see my faith. Because how I live and what I do. That's right. Not what's in here. But what out, comes out of me right. my actions today. Right. But let me tell you about, uh, uh, there's a common belief there. Uh, and we put grace on one side. Bless the Lord. We put faith over here. And we know how that works. We know it's the grace of God that we're saved just like I read. Yeah. By whoever shall believe upon the name of the Lord shall wow. be saved. Right. right. My. But there's, a, there's an effectual faith. Yeah. There's a faith that becomes real. Yeah, that's a faith wrong. that won't work, but then you get enough of it, and it will work. Yeah. Amen. So everything that happens to you and your Christian life My and getting God to do for you depends on your faith. Yes. Yeah. Right. And making it work. And having enough. Bless you. What they preach about and teach about grace. How that grace covers it all. Grace outside of faith. Grace without faith. Yeah. yeah. Grace disconnected from faith. Come on. And it don't work that way. That's right. Yes. But I'm talking now, if you're lost here today, I wouldn't put anything in front of you to make it seem so hard that you can't get saved. But there's grace over here on this side. And there's faith over here in your life. I pray that it's God, the grace belongs to God. Yes. And it was bought yes. by Jesus Christ. Yes. It was bought by yes. Somebody said, why didn't he live 50? Why didn't he live 20? He would still been the son of God. Right. He could still went to Calvary. Right. God, he was God's son. God would still accept him. Yeah. But he lived 30 years. I, mean, I believe in my heart. I saw that he could walk through this old world. And he can learn about me. Yeah. He can learn about you. Right. And he can learn about what we face. I saw today that lost person He's a sitting on the right hand of the Father right. for you today. Right. You say he don't know about me. Yes, he does. Yes. You say he don't know how I feel. Yes, he does. Yes, he, does. he said he don't know about death and sorrow My and burdens. Yes, he does. Oh, yes. Yes. He walked. Thank you, Lord. He walked. Thank you, Lord. Oh, yeah. In this old world. I went through here and learned. Bless the Lord. He learned of me. Yeah. And he learned of you so that he could go to Calvary and die for a lost world and understand us. So that when we go to him and we ask him to save us, he understands why we got in the shape we're in. He didn't do it. He never failed. But oh, how he went there and every little door, I print every little box that needed to be checked. I mean, he went through there and he checked it. How was he tempted to this? Checked. How was he was he offered this? I check. He didn't have dope back in them days, but they had everything else. How the devil was still a devil. I mean, he brought him and he warred with him. How he fought him just as hard as he fought you. That's right. And even harder. You know that. Sure. Amen. Because he was the Son of God. But he came through all but victorious. But that's what brought to grace. That's where grace comes from. That's where the power comes from. That's where his ability comes to feel and his ability to save, friend, and know and have compassion on us today. But that grace is on one side and that faith is on the other. And I've heard folks how they study the Bible as a job. I mean, uh, 40 hours a week uh, for 50 years and wrote book after book after book. Yeah. And then I got to listen to them and got to uh, interested about all that for their knowledge and everything. Uh, but then they come up and then they tell me out there and I hear uh, when, when I had to leave them and I just had to stop listening to them. That's when it come up to me. I friend and I heard them saying how they, they, they didn't really how their doctrine was how they didn't really know when they got saved didn't know when they got born again Jason yeah they just started learning about God and they started coming to church and that knowledge of him 
learning the word and studying it yeah. uh, that knowledge put something in them and then all of a sudden they were saved all of a sudden they, they, they become like they morphed into something they wouldn't what just that? because of what they read they just, like just again. because of what they heard but it's not that way no, it, ain't. it has to be you have to have that faith yeah. that grace and God owns it and there ain't a thing you can do today to save yourself there's not a thing you today my friend, to keep yourself saved outside of staying away from sin. My friend, it's the grace of God. It's the gift of God today. And thank God for it. My friend, but let me tell you, it takes faith. You've got to have faith. You've got to have that experience. And you've got to have it. Bless the Lord. It's got to have that faith that's universal. It ain't enough today. You don't say, repeat after me, and then you're going to be a Christian. It don't work that way. You got to have faith. That faith has to be concentrated. Amen. Harmless, harmless faith, ineffectual faith, benign faith today. Me and I sitting here breathing today, and you're breathing. When you take a breath in, you breathe 78% nitrogen. Randall can correct me if I'm wrong. 21% oxygen. A very minute amount of carbon dioxide, argon, helium, all these other gases that's mixed up. But what you got to have in that is that oxygen. Yeah. And the brother back here knows he wears it. He, and thank the Lord, that's amazing, is it not? That God would let him come and be without it and heal him and, uh, to that point. So I, I praise him for that. But I don't want to talk about the oxygen as far as life. What I want to talk to you about is the nitrogen. And what it is. And the nitrogen itself is just a feeling. Yeah. It's just something to take up the space. You bring it in. Your body don't do nothing with it. You bring it out. You breathe it in, breathe it out. Come on. You know your body don't use nitrogen. It don't, it don't hurt you. Basically. It's in a, it's inert. What? As far as your body. It's benign. It's harmless. Don't do nothing. <laughs> but you take that nitrogen. Bless the Lord. And you get you some machine and mechanism to suck it in there and cool it. And at a certain temperature. That nitrogen becomes a liquid. Come on. And all you got to do to get that nitrogen, nothing else, is get it down to that temperature. And that nitrogen becomes a liquid. Yeah. And then you, it's so cold, you have to put it in the canister and keep it. But you go to the doctor, you get a skin cancer, like I've had, several of them. You go to the doctor, and they bring out a little bottle, like a compressed bottle and they take it say we're going to get rid of that for you yeah and they take it and they go like that it's like somebody shot you in the feet again and then it swells up like a beast thing but that was harmless Jason yeah when you breathe that in but if you if you concentrate it it's got great power if you concentrate it, it's effective. It's good, uh, if, it's, if you concentrate it, it's got a use, a purpose. Yeah. It's got something to do with it. And that's what that we're missing. And it's so in the church world today. That's right. We're not getting our faith concentrated. That's it's right. not enough. Right. It's not enough. It don't have no power. It can't kill anything. Amen. But you get your faith concentrated. It'll move. It'll work. Yes. And that grace over here, if you're lost today, you can get your faith up to where that it meets. That's right. And right. that faith will come up before God. And that faith, believing in what Jesus done for you, right. Right. that died for you, Bless you the death, the burial, the resurrection, all of it for you. Faith will move God. Amen, preacher. Right. And that grace. Amen. God will look down this morning. Thank you, Lord. He'll say, Where it is. 
Man. I see some faith today. Yeah. I see somebody believing. Yeah. And what I've done, I could drag you up here to the altar today, drag you up here, and scream at you in your ear. But believe it. Believe it. Believe it. Don't but you won't. What it does. It has to come from here. Yeah. Man, that's right. It's come from here to here. Yeah. And then out of here, that faith yeah. would move God. And you can get saved. Amen. Born again. Bless you. Bless you. I, I've, I've, I heard that preacher say that. So I don't know what he said. He had a question. And they asked him, uh, when did you get saved? Or somebody asked him, they weren't sure. They, did, they didn't remember the time they got saved. And I thought, my goodness. Yeah. Spend your whole life studying the Word of God. <laughs> Write all these books. Hallelujah. And then die and go to hell. Yeah. Because you didn't know Him. Yeah. That's right. How could you, Jason? Oh, yeah. yeah. I remember the night. He might have. That bowed down. Yeah, boy. Yes. I remember the night. Yeah. That the Lord condemned me. Yes. I remember the night that I got born again. I am. I remember how that faith works. I remember I didn't have it, Jason. Yeah, that's right. I remember I didn't have it. That's right. And then I kept going and hearing, and believing, and 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 taking it in my heart and letting it settle there and thinking about it. And that faith just getting bigger. Yeah. Right. And that conviction to work on. Yeah. Hearing the word. Hearing the word of God. Yeah. Amen. That faith to get a little bit bigger. Yeah, bless you. It went from faith started telling me. Yeah. First off, the old flesh would say that ain't right. Heavy Lord. That ain't true. But then faith would get strong enough and say, well, that could be true. <laughs> and then, and then, yeah. then the old flesh would tell me, maybe I, my flesh would start believing a little bit. And my heart would. And then faith would come along a little bit. And faith would see somebody else testify about how they was a drunk. How they was a dope addict. Yeah. And how they was a fornicator. Yeah. And how they was just flat lost. And Jesus Christ would come by and save them. Oh, yeah. And That's I right. would see the tears roll down. Yeah. And I'd see their countenance change. Yeah. Up the and just come and just change like that. Amen. And the Spirit of God and faith oh, yeah. tell me. Oh, yeah. oh, yes, sir. It means right. I think you got something going on there. I but I remember that day. Our friend with Joe most seen Jesus standing there yeah. has said, come to me. Yeah. Come to me. Praise the Lord. And I didn't go right to you. But boy, it didn't leave me. That faith got in there. That faith got concentrated. That faith started moving in my life. Our friend, and it went no other way. He wouldn't leave me. That's right. My faith. My faith. Amen. Not your faith. Not the church's faith. But my faith got so big. Yes, you know, that God had to look down. That God had to see. Come on. Somebody Come on. believing. Yeah. And that one. I believe in all what Jesus Christ has done. Amen. Another That's right. one. That's right. Willing to repent. Amen. Another one willing. All right. To bow before him. Amen. And say, Jesus, I'm sorry. Thank you, Lord. Jesus, I'm sorry I made you go to Calvary. Yeah. Jesus, I'm sorry I put you through that. But then I believed that if I would come down Whoa, and Lord. repent of my sin, I am. that he would save me. Yeah. And it happened. That faith took forever to build up. Right. And that same faith, Jason, I'm so glad of that. Lord, Lord, I'm so glad of that. I'm so glad I didn't come the first time. I mean, I don't mean that bad. Yeah. And I ain't put no, tell nobody to risk it. I ain't tell nobody to put it off. Yeah. How about that faith? I remember that. And he dealt with me. And I had, I'd go and not go. And he dealt with me again. And it would get harder. But I'm so thankful for that. Lord, it's got me through so much in life. Lord, it's got me through my friend, when it gets down, uh, when the devil's got your eyeballs beat out, my friend, when he's stuck your way, uh, when he's worked with you, yeah. when he's worked you, yeah. uh, there this way and that way, yes, just like it uh, gets you in the head most submission hold, right. and just about puts you to sleep, Jason. Yeah. yeah. But in that, I am. 
in there. I go back to this time that he called for me. I go back to this time that he got so real in my life. And he got so big and so powerful that he could save me. I mean, not just not just get up and not come down and not come down and pray and get up and just go back to your seat, the same old person. That's right. Or come up and soothe yourself, maybe sorrow. Some folks come and pray during sorrow, during a time of trouble. Run to Jesus. Yeah. Run to the church. Yeah. They want to pray and ask God to make it better. Bless you, Donald. As soon as that storm passes, yeah. right back out in the world. Yeah, yeah. It's very true. Turn it up. It's very true. But I remember the time that He dealt with me. Thank you, Lord. And I got saved just like that. Yeah. How I, I didn't have it. I was under conviction. Hey, my heart was in a vice. That's right. My soul was in a vice. Thanks to the Jason, I had to make a decision. Yeah. Like my faith had got big enough where I had to make a decision. Uh, I couldn't go back. Right. I couldn't go back and not believe. That's right, God. My faith had got that big. And my life, my soul, my heart was in that vice. Squeezing it to death. Yeah. And I had to make a decision that night. But when I decided... And I gave in. And I say, I'm going to, I'm going to pray. Yeah, my. Yeah. I'll say. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. And that condemnation that was, and I could hold my chin up. Praise the boy of our revival, one of the little Mexican boys. I look back at him, and his head down. The tears run down his face. He raised his head up. I remember that. I remember that. I remember God getting a hold of me. Amen. Let's and in go. the church house, around the preacher, around the Holy Spirit, Man. couldn't hold my head up. I was at Kadia. But I had that and I carried that. Bless him, Lord. And that night I got born again. About midnight one night. Yeah. Jason remembers that. About midnight one night. I said, Lord, I'm going to pray. I'm going to call Jason. I'm going to pray. I'm going to do whatever it takes. Like that. I mean, like that. I was saved. Like that. That's right. I was born again. Yeah. And God, where all I had was condemnation. Yeah. All I had was guilt. Yeah. All that was gone. My Lord, have mercy. Praise the Lord. All that was gone. Washed away. Amen. White. Yeah. Black heart. Amen. Guilty. Yeah. Condemned. Yeah. Damned to die. Yeah. Damned to face hell. Yeah. And Jesus came by. Praise the Lord. Gave me peace, yeah. brother. Yeah. Andy gave me peace yeah. Yeah. for trouble, worry, questions, doubt, fears. <laughs> he come by. Yeah. He gave me. My, uh, he back to the night. Bless him, Lord. There was trouble. He back in the out there on Carousel Road. He back in there with a triple seven cat. <laughs> dumped a load of peace on me. <laughs> Every bit of it just dumped it all. Come there and come down on top of me. Praise the Lord. Yeah, bless he gave me God. the Holy Ghost that night. Jesus, thank you, Jesus. I had nothing. He didn't leave me alone. No. Oh, he get, took all that sin and that hate and that bitterness, yeah. all that fear out. My friend, and he gave me the Holy Ghost. Yeah, right. That's right. I cried. I cried. I cried. Cry. Cry. Joy. Hello. Joy, friend. He gave me joy for sorrow. He gave me hell. Yeah. He gave me hope. Fire. When I had nothing. Hey. Right. But nine faith. Good, faith that ain't gonna do you no good. Yeah, try right. today. Right. You just got a little bit. But well, if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm being born again. That's right. That's what it's gonna take to get you in the heaven. Yes. Hey, Maya. You gotta be born again. Yep. You gotta have that experience. Maya. If you don't have it, you can't go on. 
That's right. You endure for a week or two, month or two, year or two. It'll come to a point that you won't have the goods. That's right. Amen, preacher. And you can't go on. That's right. With that real faith today. Thank you, Jesus. He can muster it up in you. And, and you don't know about it. I can't tell you if you got it or not. Yeah. God does. Yeah. God condemns you. I am. And then God condemns you and tells you lost. Yeah. And God lets you hear the preaching. God lets you see people got what you ain't got. Amen. I am. And then God lets you feel yeah. what you they got that you ain't got. And God lets you feel that worship and that praise Amen. that you can't praise Him with. You can get up and say it. You can open your mouth and say it. But you can't praise Him. If you ain't been saved, you cannot praise Him. No, you can't do it. That's right. But today, that conviction power gets in there. I believe it. Oh yeah. To let faith build up. That's right. To let faith start. Yeah. Let faith to let faith starts getting affection. Oh yeah. That faith starts getting dangerous. Uh huh. Starts getting dangerous.